Stacey Beth and thanks for joining me again on Unseen Weekly, the only show in the universe or galaxy that brings you the hottest parties and events from last week, next week and beyond. This week. We go to Playground Weekender, Fair Day gets visited, Bowlerama bowls us over, Trop Fest happens and the Chinese New Year parade went off. First, Logan claimed he kept out of trouble at Playground Weekender. Sure you did. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Playground Weekender, one of the most random festivals on the calendar. pick up 16 empty cans and then you get a free one. It must be a pretty difficult place to find a man in surroundings no, no, like this. I found many, I found many, many that like to cross dress. That's all right, I don't mind a man in a dress. We came, we saw, we conquered. As you can see from my right shoulder, plenty of bands, plenty more entertainment is still to come, but I think the real entertainment is that on stage, it's the crazy people in their weird costumes right here tonight. And thank God the bar is still serving some beers. Cheers. Nice one, Logan. Fair day. A huge prelude to the gay and lesbian Mardi Gras that is outgrowing Mardi Gras itself. Such a huge event needs nothing short than Yasmin to cover it. go to Trop Fest, the biggest short film festival in the world. Every film has to contain the Trop Fest signature item and this year it's Dice. Hey, I'm Mel and we are here at Trop Fest, Australia's largest and most prestigious short film festival and one of its most iconic cultural events. Now there are 16 finalists and we are lucky enough to get to see them premiere right here this evening. It's free. I mean, what else can you do for one night in the year that's completely free, that is so much fun? What can I tell you? Um, it's extraordinary. I, I just saw the field. It's so incredible. It's like a rock concert for short films. I've never seen anything like it. The fact that we're off now, we can just drink and watch short movies. No, that's it. I'm not looking forward to anything else. I'm just so excited to see what everyone's come up with this year. It's always so much fun. I've got all these short movies and, uh, you know, sometimes you get more entertainment out of these shorter ones than mammoth long ones. I, I've never sat down and watched 16 short films in a row, so I, I don't necessarily know what to look for. I think it's different things will sort of poke out. I am so looking forward to kicking back, getting one of them as soon as we have finished. Yeah, I do actually. And just enjoying 16 amazing short films. So can I have some now? Thanks. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Cheers! Hey, Bolarama. That's a top night. Thanks, Stacey Beth. It's not actually 10 pin bowling, it's pro skateboarding in this ball.
right, cut. Chinese New Year is always on around this time, funny that. But they sure know how to put on a parade. Now let's see what events Logan reckons are good this week. Thanks Stacey Beth. This weekend in Sydney, it's Mardi Gras. Up in the Gold Coast, the Quicksilver Pro kicks off. Now in Sydney on Monday morning, Spencer Tunick, the artistic director, will be taking photos of thousands of naked people right here in the Opera House. So head down there early Monday morning. I'm Logan, back to you Stacey Beth. Thanks Logan. And remember, no one brings you more party action than us here at unseentv.tv. I'm Stacey Beth and I'm off for a week, so I'll see you later.